Hi, Jonathan Pickup. I was going through my 3D modeling movies recently. I've got uh, every month I update uh, my website with the movies that I've created. And I saw this movie where I created a bathtub really quickly. And I thought it'd be really fun to recreate it for you guys. So I'm going to start with a rectangle. I'm going to create a rectangle. I'm going to make this bath just over um, six feet long. So two meters long. Uh, the height of this is going to be about uh, 30 inches, I think it is, 750 millimeters. And I'm going to turn up position X click. I'm going to put this right in the middle of the screen. So there it is there. And as soon as I go back to it, I can click on that and drag it up. Again, about 750 for the edge of the bath. And that creates my object for me, which is pretty quick. The next thing I'm going to do is to look at these options up here. I've got these two options here selected, which means that when I create my bath and I use this method, I can create my the edge of my bath. I can pull that down automatically. If I want to, I can actually snap to the bottom here. There's the distance 750. I could subtract some away from that. So let's make that minus 600. And enter, and it's made a bath for me already. If I want to, if I don't like what I've got at the moment, I can change the edges of these. So I'm going to use my 3D modeling tools. Use the push-pull. I can push that back a little bit, bring that back 54. I just need to spin my view around. Or well, the other trick you can do is hold down the Alt key and grab the, the faces behind. I'm just going to grab that, bring that back 54 as well. There we are. So they're both the same. So let's make it more into a bath. Now, I know it doesn't look much like a bath at the moment, but trust me, we're going to have a bit more fun with it. I'm going to use the taper face tool. So that's my reference plane. This is the face to taper. So we'll do that. This, that's the back of the bath. I will do the front of the bath as well. And we'll bring this out by, let's have a look. So minus five degrees there. Let's do that side. We'll bring that in minus five as well. And this side here, I just need to spin my view around. Uh, let's bring that in minus five as well. So you can see I've created a bit of a bath. Uh, bit more fun, let's just make the bottom slightly tapered as well. Cool. Now you might be looking at this thinking, well so far it doesn't look like it's very much fun. But there's a modify command here which I sometimes use. Convert and where is it? Convert to subdivision. Let's make it three iterations. So there's my subdivision. So it's created my subdivision. I'm going to use this one here, this option, which is the crease mode. I'm going to crease that side, that side. I'm going to turn around here, crease that side and that side. There we are. And so now you see it looks like a solid bath with this curvy shape in the middle. Now there are some creases in the bottom here, which I've got to be very careful. If I crease these ones, uh, you can see I think I've done that where it's a bit smoother. I think uh, while the movie was paused, I accidentally creased one of them as I was testing it myself. But that's one of the ways to do it. If we go back to a top view, there's a view from above. Let's set that to orthogonal. I can select all of these parts in here. Let's go back to that mode. I want to select all of those bits in there and I could move them. So it's this handle here that I want to move and I could move that back by just a little amount. So let's go minus an inch, 25 millimeters. And I'm going to do the same down here. So I'm going to select all of those little dots in there. Let's move this on again. 20 millimeters. It's got to be minus 20, I think. So minus 20. So it's opened up my bath a little bit. And you can also do things like splitting the bath. But it's a really quick way to get started. I just thought that was a really fun way, a really simple way to get started to making a complex bath shape. If we want to see how complex it is, why don't we have a look at our clip cube. Where's my clip cube there? Let's bring that in. And you can see there, it's my clip cube starting to show up. Make sure nothing's selected. And so that's the shape of my bath being that I've created. Look at it from this view. And there it is there. So you can see this end where I made the taper 15 degrees or 18 degrees, it's quite gentle and then it's quite steep at this end. 
So that's the shape, but really quick way to make it. So if you got to this point, thank you for watching. If you feel like it, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. It really helps me a lot, gives me the ability to make these kinds of movies.